Ciao amici, I'm Maestro Leo Spitzeri, and today I'm going to start with a question. Does a cheese pizza mean it's going to be a boring pizza? I'm going to walk you through some incredible steps to take a cheese pizza to the next level. And if you follow my steps, I'm even going to show you how to make an incredible sauce to go along with it. Today, I'm going to show you the ultimate cheese pizza. Thirty-five years. This never gets old. Friends, we've got a lot of cheese here. Let's face it, you can't make a lot of cheese pizzas without a lot of cheese, right? But my cheese pizza has a blend of cheeses that are going to be amazing together. Let's start with the Fontina. This cheese is silky, smooth, buttery, kind of mild in flavor, but it's got a little bit of tang in the background. I'm gonna cut all these cheeses as uniform as possible so they melt all together evenly. The second cheese I'm using, this is that Belgioioso smoked mozzarella. If you've never had it, it's a game changer. There's a little touch of smoke in the background that kind of reminds me of using a wood-fired oven without a wood-fired oven. Next, we can't make a cheese pizza without mozzarella. So I'm using whole milk mozzarella. It's a lot creamier than the part skim stuff. Same as before, dice it up nice and small. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch my tutorial on the utility pan pizza dough. It's super simple and versatile and I even show you how to do it by hand. I'm starting with an 8x10 pizza pan. This is one of those Detroit style pans that's about two and a half inches high. I rub all the sides down with a little bit of Crisco. This is going to give us that gorgeous almost fried dough around the edges on the bottom and it's going to kind of let that dough stick. Place the dough into the pan as gently as you can. Dimple it as you continue to stretch it to the corners. Cover the pan and let it double in size. While that's proofing, let's get to our garlic butter sauce. This is one of those crazy simple sauces that you can do really well with a lot of different dishes. It's only four ingredients. I'm using mayo, softened butter, some fresh garlic, lemon zest, and lemon juice. Add just a touch of salt at the end, mix it all together, and that's it. It's creamy, delicious, and that little burst of lemon is going to cut through all of that cheese. That acidity along with that smoked mozzarella is going to take this over the top. I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to fill a piping bag. Normally, once you have a lot of practice, we do this all by hand, but I'm going to actually use a cup. I'm going to stick my piping bag into the cup, and the cup is going to kind of support this as I'm filling so that I've got both hands free. At the very end, I take a little bit of plastic wrap, kind of tie it up uh, into, a, into a string or a rope, and then you look at how I'm doing this. I'm wrapping it around the top nice and tight so that once it's sealed closed, I can literally put this either back into the refrigerator for later or once my pizza is done, we'll snip the end and we'll put it on top of the pizza. Let's take a look at our dough. It's been proofing now and now you can see it's fluffy, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Let's go hard with our cheeses, my friends. When I said ultimate cheese, I meant ultimate cheese. It's all going to melt across and caramelize out to the edges of the pan. Don't worry if it looks uneven, but try not to press down into this dough too much. We don't want the dough to deflate now. Pop this into the oven at about 400 to 450 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. We're looking for the cheese to be bubbly and melted all the way across to the edges. Also, look for the brown spots in those toast points on top. You'll know when this cheese pizza is done because you'll start to see that the sizzling edges of that cheese will have turned nice and brown. Use a scraper to release the dough from the edges. Be careful, don't destroy those edges. Try to get them off evenly and together with the pizzas. Look at that cheese, guys. This is a classic Detroit pizza. Pull it out of the pan and right onto the cutting board. 
It's fluffy, airy, but still, those edges are super crispy. You know what time it is. It's time to make it snow. Let's grab some of that Bel Gioioso American Grana and shred it all over the top. You could use Parmigiano Reggiano if you want here too, or any other hard cheese that you like. Then I'm going to use a bit of a garnish. I'm using Italian flat leaf parsley here. That little bit of green is just going to break up all that white on top of this. Once we have that done, snip the end of that piping bag and give a beautiful drizzle of that garlic butter sauce. That little bit of lemon zest, the garlic, everything together. Let me cut into this and let's see what we did. You can tell by the texture of this pizza that it's already super light, airy, that cheese crown, crispy on the edges. I'm gonna go in for a bite. For me, the corner is always the one. When you see this dough from the inside, look at how light and airy this is. The layers of cheese, look at that caramelized edge, that bottom, just a hint, it's ready to go. I'm going in, guys. Every cheese on here was made to go together. That touch of that smoky bite at the end and that lemon zest with the garlic really cut through all of that cheese. I dare you to put this in front of your kids. They're gonna love it. Your friends, your family's gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all the rest of the videos on our channel. I'm Chef Leo. Ciao amici.